And here's your Beano Town weather forecast. Cloudy all week with a chance of clouds this weekend. Boring! It's the Beano Town Founders Day bonfire tomorrow, so get ready for the gravy toss, Pelta Vicar, and our famous Beano Town homemade jam off. More, more boring! And in breaking news, a mysterious bat creature was spotted yesterday in Beano Town Ooh, Park. Still boring! What? Bat creature? Awesome! Nasha, let's go! We gotta catch it! Dennis, you are not catching a bat. They're dangerous. But, Dad, it's not a bat. It's a bat creature. Sit and eat your breakfast. That's an order. What do you think, Nasha? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. We need to investigate. Now, if I was a bat creature, where would I hide? <laughs> what is he, boy? <laughs> Bloody footprints! Bat creature! Nasha, you know what this means! There's a vampire in Beano Town! Pieface, you're the vampire expert. How do we catch it? Uh, according to issue number four of Lord Tim, Vampire Destroyer, vampires only come out when the sun goes down, hate garlic, and can be destroyed with a stake through the heart. <laughs> hey! What about running water? Isn't that supposed to do something? Well, in issue number 12, Lord Tim melts a bunch of vampires in a jacuzzi by splashing them. A jacuzzi might be hard to lug around, but splashing people with water... We can manage that! Water soakers full! Full! Oh. Now, the vampire could be anyone, so remember... Soak first, ask questions later. Let's get them! about that. Uh, we thought you were somebody else. Yeah, vampires! Vamp! Oh! You boys come here right now! Uh-oh! Run! <laughs> Guess the water didn't work. Those are tough vampires, eh? <laughs> I don't know about this vampire hunting thing. Where are you guys going? Mum wants me home early to help stir her gravy. For the gravy toss. She really wants to win this year. First prize is a hat made of potatoes. A potato hat? Come on, you can get one of those anywhere. <gasps> <gasps> is that...? Yeah, a coffin. What this means? The Colonel's the vampire! <gasps> Starch me civvies! Uh, um, uh, get him! <laughs> You've trespassed on private property. Explain yourselves. Well, uh, we, um, uh, I, uh, his parents want to. Invite you to dinner! Yeah, they... Want to what? Why would they want to do that? Uh, you know, to say thank you for keeping us all safe with the Neighbourhood Watch and for um, all your... all your great stories and um, clean clothes. Well, I have been out late these last few nights. You know, watching the Neighbourhood. Haven't had a good hot meal in days. 
Yeah, except for people. Great! So you'll come. See ya. Dinner with me parents? Terrific. What are you going to do, Dan? Don't panic. I've got an idea. Oh, I'll get one. <laughs> Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. I invited the Colonel for dinner. Did he just say... Yes, thanks for the dinner invitation. When Dennis practically begged me to come, I was quite touched. He begged you? Our Dennis? Hope you're ready for a long night, because I'm a slow digester. Hi, Face. You said something earlier about garlic. In issue 425, Lord Tim defeats a bunch of Italian vampires by using their own pasta against them. Fresh bread! Get it while it's hot! <coughs> What's the matter? Don't you like garlic? <coughs> Water! <coughs> oh, no! Let me help you! <coughs> Get that away! Mirror! <coughs> Aha! Don't like mirrors either! That settles it! Nasha, attack! <coughs> Dennis, what's got into you? Have you lost your mind? But, Mum, Dad, he's... A... March right over to the Colonel's and apologise. Now! We'll just have to show him ourselves. <laughs> there he is. Hello? I could use some help out here. Look. Right, uh, sorry. Just cleaning up. Looks like we've got two to tackle then. I've got dibs on Walter. Is that what I think it 
It is. It is. <gasps> oh, way, hey. The coolest computer game console ever. It's not even out till next week. Father knows the boss at the Way Hey factory. <laughs> it's here in Beano Town, you know. Yeah, I took the factory tour. They've got demo models. It's ace. How about giving them a game? All right, but let's make it interesting. Anyone I beat has to come to after school club with us. Oh, yes, it's fun. Uh, we're doing form filling today and tidying. And cooking. Yikes! They should call it worse than school club. As long as you win, you've got nothing to worry about. Press play, Walter. Please, please, please. OK. The game's Rock Guitar Legend. You sure? I always win at Rock Guitar Legend. Absolutely. Here goes. the game code and rock guitar legend becomes air violin legend <laughs> It's really interesting. If I win, Pie Face and Curly go free. If I lose, I'll go for the rest of the year. <laughs> but I should be allowed to do some homework too. Lend me a manual and I'll meet you at After School Club. Unless you're chicken, of course. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> It's a deal, but if you don't show up, the whole of Beano Town will know your chicken. I was just buying time. The factory's in Beano Town, right? If I can sneak some practice time on a demo model, I'll have a chance of beating Walter. Huh? It's a long shot. But I can't let Curly and Pie Face down. Let's get on the next factory tour. <laughs> Welcome to After School Club. First, form filling. Every good citizen should be able to complete a form neatly. <laughs> oh. As you can see, the factory is fitted with the latest high-tech security. What about the way, hey? Are you going to show us a way, hey? And to protect the delicate machinery, a super-advanced climate control system. I heard you've got demo models! Indeed. Here is the very first demo model of the way, hey. Anybody mind if I have first go? This model is for display only. This is no good. We've got to get our hands on a way. Hey. Hmm. A 
good citizen's home is a dust-free home. Where they make the way. There's got to be a finished one in here somewhere. system alerted us the moment you entered an unauthorized area. Your every move was monitored and analyzed. We were impressed. Very impressed. Y you were? Yes. I just want to ask you one question. How would you like to star in our next game? Our top designer has been working flat out, creating the environment and characters based on your special moves. <laughs> we, we thought we'd call the game Grand Dinismo. <laughs> Excellent! And I'll give it a live test! If you want to join After School Club, you'll have to come back next week. He'll be here, Mrs Creature. I'm about to make sure of it. What's it going to be, Dennis? Rock guitar legend? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master? Grand Dennis Moe! Huh? I'll take you all on! Ready? Game on! Dennis must want to come to After School Club forever! Tell us what to do, Walter, and we'll thrash him! Uh, um, I don't know what to do! I've never seen this game before! <laughs> Check this out. 
out! Looks like Nasha's got a famous twin. <laughs> if only, if Nasha was a celebrity, he could get us into the Rat Bucket gig tomorrow night. I still think we should ask Athena to get us some tickets. Look, Athena, the latest issues. Oh, my gosh, let me see. Yeah, she is Rat's only kid after all. No way. Athena wouldn't give us the time of day, especially if you go round swiping her mags. Miss Athena. Hmm. Weird looking creature, if you ask me. Still, fashion is fashion. <laughs> At last! Yes, the dog is an Abyssinian wirehead tripe hound. Rare? I should hope so too. No, I don't care what it costs. It's the number one fashion accessory with the in crowd. So get me in, or you'll be out permanently. You know what? I reckon Nasha might help us get into the gig after all. Yeah? How? Listen and learn, pie face. Better get going. I've got to feed my Abyssinian wire-haired tripe pound. Wait a minute. I remember that horrible mutt of his. Can it be? It can't be. It is! It's a tripe pound! Stop him, sugar! Hey! Come back! Yeah? What's up? Uh, Miss Athena wants your dog. How much? Name your price. Sorry, girls. Nasha's not for sale. Nasha? Ugh. That name will have to go. Make a note, sugar. Change name of dog. No need. Like I said, Nasha's not for sale. At any price. There you go. <laughs> hmm, we'll see about that. Everyone has their price, even Dennis. Hey! Whoa, whoa. Wow! Is that what I think it is? The SuperCurl 3000 with built in surround sound and full remote control. <laughs> Direction finding system as standard. Do left hand 180 at the bottom of the drive for the skate park. Wow! And of course, it has 360 remote control tail spin ability. <laughs> that totally rocks! <laughs> Limited edition, of course, but you can have it in exchange for the dog. Uh, no thanks. It would take more than a skateboard to break up Nasha and me. <laughs> hmm, apart from his dog and his skateboard, what else does Dennis love? Astronomy, bees, hang gliding. No sugar, music. Especially guitars. With a rat bucket triple neck! The coolest guitar in the world! I want to trade Dad's guitar for... Let me guess. Me dog. Yes. I may not be the best guitarist on the planet, but you could be with a guitar like this. Nah. I prefer a single neck axe. No deal. Oh, really? Well, let's see what the dog thinks, shall we? Sugar, the chart. <gasps> Listen up, dog. This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. Never to be repeated. Come with me, and it's a first-class lifestyle. With a luxury penthouse kennel. A private chef. Mountains of luxury hand-rolled sausages. All for you. <laughs> well, do we have a deal? <laughs> Okay, then. You got me. It's a deal. Yes! Come along.
on, sugar. And bring the hound. And you can give her to the dog's home. <laughs> Nasha, gone? I, I don't understand. Don't worry, pie face. All will be revealed. <laughs> we'll be seeing Nasha again soon. And we'll be getting rat bucket tickets. Really? Trust me. Oh. oh, stop it! Oh, oh, no! Oh. No! Go for it! Will you please desist? Slow down! Stop! Oh, at last! <laughs> Okay, time to turn this half-baked hearth rug into a full-on fashionista. I'll come pump a bet up you today, madame. Mm? Nails, please. Mm, I think we're talking industrial pedicure, madame. I'm going in. Ooh! That's some nail. And that was some bag. Uh, onwards! <laughs> That's the way, Nasha. Where is that waiter with our lunch? Ravenous! Madame, Monsieur, your order. Spaghetti and meatballs. Enjoy! Mmm, meatballs. My favourite. <laughs> Pardon, I think Monsieur missed a bit. <laughs> What he's done! My new outfit's ruined! Sugar, come. Let's get this creature home before he embarrasses me anymore! <laughs> Believe me, he's only just getting started. <sighs> well, only seconds to go before midnight. All being well, Nasha should be here just about. Now. Here, take him. Your dog's a menace. He's eaten my best face cream, totally trashed my room, chewed up all my clothes, and scared Daddy's guard dogs witless. Sorry, no can do. He's all yours now. What? No! Tripe hands are so yesterday. Sorry. No, wait! Wait! <laughs> must be the guitar, the skateboard, you can have them all. Sugar? Well, I don't know. A deal's a deal. What else do you want? Hmm, I know. How about tickets for the gig? Tickets, you say? Hmm, might be nice. No problem. Sugar, give him the tickets. As many as you want. Anything, just you'll take this monster back. What do you think, Nasha? Do you want to come back? <laughs> so, do we have a deal? Deal? Yes. Make a note, sugar. Tripe pounds are out. Permanently. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're off to see Rat Bucket after all, Nasha. Thanks to you! Result! Hey, wait a minute. These are tickets for last year's gig. Athena! <laughs> hey, hey, watch out! Whoa! This is great! <laughs> 
lovely stretching. Oh, watch it. Wow, what a nice pool. Uh, yes, isn't it smashing? How about to swim for us then? Sorry, members of Walter's Swimming Club only. How do we join? Well, rule one is you have to swear endless loyalty to me. And rule two is... Oh, hang on. It's the same as rule one. <laughs> <laughs> Dream on. Not going to happen, Walter. You'll just have to put up with the heat then, won't you? <sighs> Oi, are you boys? You all know there's a water shortage, so no, no, no wasting water, OK? Us wasting water? What about Walter and his pool? D never mind, Walter. His pool's already filled. I'm telling you lot, and, uh, and, and remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. So now we can't even squirt each other with hose pipes. <sighs> My tongue's sweating. How are we going to cool off? There's only one thing for it, lads. We'll build our own pool. What about the water shortage? Don't worry, I'll think of something. First, we need to dig a big hole. Come on, Nasha, do your stuff. Dash, dash, dash. <laughs> oh. The ground's too hard. We need a spade. Oh, what about this? Need a bit more power behind it. Hey, look! The old pogo stick. That'll do it. Here we go, lads. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Yes. Great, Nasha! Uh, uh. The heavier we are, the better. Room for one more. And me. That's right, lad. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Den. It's an awfully big hole. So what do you think this is, Den? I reckon this is the old Beano Town drains, which means there's got to be water round here somewhere. Hang on, what's that? Sounds promising. According to my calculations, that'll lead up next to the Colonel's garden. Let's check it out. Action stations! Dive! Dive! Bingo! It's the Colonel's place, all right. And he's sitting in a big paddling pool full of water. Uh, uh, is it uh, enough to fill a pool? It'd be a start. <laughs> what about <laughs> the Colonel? We'll just have to get rid of... <laughs> 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 saying, oh, we'll just have to get rid of him. Oh. Do your stuff, my fishy friend. Yes. <laughs> Galloping Gators, a piranha, abandon ship. Retreat! Retreat! Ha ha! We've got the Colonel on the run. Now, all we've got to do is siphon off his water. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Oof. Oh, well. 
At least it's cool down here. Not the same as a nice pool, though, is it? Don't worry, Pie Face. We're going to get our pool and the water to put in it. Hang on. This looks hopeful. I'll take a look. Plenty of water. It's the overflow to Beano Town Lake. Emptying Beano Town Lake is such a good idea. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, that sounds more like it. It's Slipper! Cooling off with a Pipe and a garden sprinkler. What a cheek. After all that guff he gave us about not wasting water. Exactly. Well, I don't see why we can't borrow his hose pipe. We could run it back to my place. But what about the ban? It's a police hose pipe, Pie Face. How can it be illegal? Here goes. <laughs> Known. He's on to us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, you hooligans. I know you're down here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Have gone that way, unless oh, Dennis left that door open to put me uh, to put me off the scent. Well, he, he won't fool me this time. Certainly not. It's not what it looks like. Never forget.
forget, in the wrong hands, there is nothing more dangerous than a canoe. Except, perhaps, a brain-eating squid. <laughs> I'll now show you how to make a canoe motor out of a pelican. Mm. Oh, this is boring. Yeah, I've had enough lectures. Time to liven things up. You guys coming? Oh, taking a canoe without asking. Fine. Spend the rest of the day listening to the Colonel. Stop! You are not authorised to pilot that vessel. Yes, you heard how dangerous canoes are. Not to mention brain-eating squids. I reckon one of them got your brain, Walter. See ya. Uh, Mrs Creature! Colonel! Yes, many a man has been led astray. They're too far away. They can't hear us. Dennis isn't getting away with this. Follow me. Life on the rolling waves. Nothing like it. <laughs> what is it, Nasha? <gasps> I don't believe it. <laughs> Looks like they want to race. <laughs> Walter, what's up? Pull that canoe over. I'm making a neighbourhood watch a rest. The neighbourhood's back on land, Twitface. Oh, uh, we may have a problem here. Go back! I don't think it's been old town. Dennis! Dennis! <gasps> Curly! Oh no, mate! You've been cut in half! No! I'm under here! Pull me out! <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see. Sand? Water? More sand? I'm going to go with a deserted island. Cool. Uh, it's not totally deserted. Quiet! Follow me! Get us down from here! Wow! We heard something, probably you lot, and decided to hide. Get us down! Sure thing, Walter. Go on, boy. You know what to do. <laughs> Me. Thanking you? Yeah. Dennis Land is the best thing that ever happened to us. What's Dennis Land? The name I just gave me island. Think, no parents, no school, no homework. This is Dennis Land. So whatever I say is law, and whatever you say must be ignored. Huh. We'll see about that. Bertie? Dudley? How would you like to be part of my new island, named Walter World? Say yes. Um, um yes. yes. <laughs> Good luck, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who the sucker is. I pinched this from Curly when he wasn't looking. Ha! <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Excellent. Let's eat it now. <laughs> no. We need to ration it. <laughs> Mmm. Uh, uh, well, does that mean we can't Can we go on? 
Children are missing. Oh, we have to call the authorities. There's no time. Squid could be eating their brains as we speak. What are you doing? I don't know how to drive a canoe. Neither do I. But who needs experience when you have rank? Now row, woman, row! Oh. Time to have some fun! their life, not a care in the world. You said it. So, when's dinner? I'm starved. OK, there's one care in the world. You mean no dinner? No pies? We're starved! How long have we been in this place? It's only been an hour, pie face. So long! Wait, Curly, what about that chocolate bar you had this morning? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's here somewhere. Uh, it, oh, it's gone. Somebody stole it. Oh, Walter, he's stolen from the tribe. This means war. <laughs> yes. Almost there. Finished. Ha! Oh, excellent. We'll soon be out of here. So, uh, when can we have our clothes back? When we're rescued, which could be days, months, years. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Is that chocolate on your mouth? Uh, no. <gasps> He's eaten practically all of it. <laughs> Stay back. Remember, this is Walter World, which means you can't hurt Walter. There they are. Look, there's the chocolate bar in Walter's hand. He's threatening the chocolate bar. Must save chocolate bar. Hi, <gasps> face. Wait. Guess the war started. Stop. One more sip and I eat it all. <gasps> What's that? Don't worry. I'll save your chocolate bar. <laughs> Under control. I declare this land Colonel Country. And now we go live to Beano Town Park Racecourse for the afternoon's racing. Hussy! Hussy! There! 
Yes, Bee, it's a horsey. <laughs> Why don't you go and play in the garden with your hobby horse? Dennis will help you. Dennis! Percy? And here's Dennis. One shot away from glory. What do you think of that, B? <laughs> and don't bring her back until you've made it up to her and she's calmed down. <laughs> Gran, what's all that crying about then? I could hear you a mile away. I broke Bee's hobby horse and I'm trying to find her a new one. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Oh, what's all that fuss about, eh? Poor little Bee. Oh, she is in a mood. That's because nobody's got any hobby horses. We've been walking round the shops for hours. And Dad says I can't bring her back until she's calmed down. Dear me, you are in a pickle. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Hang on. I've been thinking. Uh, riding hobby horses is really for little babies. Baby? Yes. And you're a big girl, aren't you? How would you like to ride on a real horse instead? Real horses? Gran, can you look after B? I've got a plan. Any minute now, love. Dennis is just bringing him. Why do we have to do this? Cos we're mates, Curly. And mates help each other out, right? <laughs> now, remember, you've got to convince her you're a real horse. So no talking or mucking about, OK? OK. <gasps> Hussie! Hussie! That's right! Told you I'd get you one. Nay! B! No! Hey, what you doing letting that child fill up all this grass, eh? And who said you could bring that animal in here? Come on, Parky! Anyone can see it's not a real one. All of you, out of the park! <coughs> oh, this is a stupid idea, Dennis. What's in it for us, anyway? Come on, Curly. We're making Bee happy. What could be better than that? How about a pie? OK, let's just give her a ride and you can have any pie you want. OK? Now wait here while I go and get her. Okay. Angle of inclination seven degrees. Wind speed about three knots south southwesterly. Very good, Father. Stand aside, please. Uh, uh. Oh, Father, you must take more care. Where are Father!
get a horse with him, has he? OK, I'll, uh, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Oi! <laughs> right! before we get into any more trouble. Well, see! <laughs> Hang on a minute, love. I'll just go and see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind, Dennis. You did your best. But what am I going to do about B? I still can't take her home. <gasps> B! Horses and riders allowed through this entrance. But my little sister's in there. You've got to let me through. You think I'm stupid or something? Now either show me your horse or I'm going to have a word with that policeman. OK, Gran. Let's get the horse. <laughs> So, here they are, under starter's orders for the final race of the day, the Beano Town Classic. And they're off with the favourite moving straight to the front, ridden by... Oh, 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 there seems to be a change of ride at time. Heavens! The... I know jockeys are small, but that one's absolutely Ooh. tiny. Ooh. Can't be much bigger than B. <laughs> Wait a minute! That is B! And that's Dennis! Hang on, B! We're coming! Wheelie, Gran! Now, there's something very strange going on here because I don't recognise that horse at all. And now there's a police car. What an extraordinary race this is! Faster, Gran! And now there's a dog on the track. Yes, sir! Yeah. And as they approach the final fence, they're neck and neck. It's anybody's race. I'm here, <laughs> Faster, Gran! Side. At least B was happy, even if we did have to sell the car to pay for the damage. I don't know. I don't miss it that much. And think of the money we're saving by not having one. You all right in there, Dennis? Yes. And you, Gran? Yes. Jolly good. Off we go, then. Giddy up! <laughs> oh, see. <laughs> 